The Las Vegas Raiders completed their draft, but there still are some holes on the roster and still some roster needs even after they signed some undrafted free agents. So we're going to break down some of the top free agents available real quick and where can they fit with the Las Vegas Raiders and are they pursuing them? Now, first and foremost, I think cornerback is a huge issue for the Raiders right now. They did not draft any cornerback high. We saw Keely Ringo still on the board and the Raiders elected not to go with that cornerback and instead they rolled with Bennett. They rolled with Bennett and I think Bennett could be a productive corner for the Raiders. Jacorian Bennett, a little undersized, but did, you know, have production, you know, against great competition last year. However, if the Raiders still wanted to go with a veteran at cornerback, well, there's another guy who there's just always been this flirtation, you know, with Marcus Peters and the Raiders. It's always just felt like something that could happen. Ever since Marshawn Lynch had that relationship with Mark, uh, Marcus Peters and Peters got into some fights, you know, against Michael Crabtree. <laughs> you know, at the Oakland Coliseum. And then you had Marshawn Lynch and Peters ride the BART train, you know, back home after that game. And ever since then, I've always heard Peters rumors every year. And there is a possibility that it could happen. I mean, the Raiders do need a corner. You still just have Nate Hobbs, David Long Jr., Duke Shelley, uh, and many others. Kill Griffin available as well, along with Ronald Darby and also Rock Yassin. Rock Yassin is still a possibility. He has remained unsigned. He had a visit with the Ravens. We know he dealt with some injuries last year, but you know, the Raiders do have options here if they do, if they do want to go cornerback and even if they want to go linebacker. I feel like the Raiders have not addressed the linebacker position that much, unfortunately. Deion Jones is still available, the former Atlanta Falcon. And then you also have Kyle Van Noy, who played with the Chargers last year, still available. Raiders could grab some talent at linebacker and I believe cornerback that could help their team tremendously. You look at the overall roster right now, you have just so many wide receivers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 wide receivers and they might even be missing some. I think we missed Tucker originally. So 11 wide receivers uh, and then tons of corners somewhat, but really 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 11 here. Sam Webb, the UDFA from last year. You still have Bryce Cosby, UDFA from last year as well. And then Brandon Faison signed on a two-year contract. He'll likely get a chance to start if he has a contract like that straight out the gate. Nate Hobbs is obviously going to be a starter for for the Raiders at the cornerback position. Duke Shelley, I think he just got to recognize this guy has a shot. He balled out with the Vikings last year when they had injury problems. And David Long Jr. has always been semi-productive over there with the LA Rams. So a lot of competition, especially for somebody like Jacorian Bennett. Uh, Christopher Smith, I'm not sure why he's labeled a corner here. More of a safety from what I was reading. And I could see a veteran like Marcus Peters, a veteran like Rocky Yassin being an instant upgrade though, however, over most of those corners. But the Raiders may want to go young at corner Mac, maybe want to rely on Bennett to try to do something special. They seem to be content with defensive tackle. They drafted some guys, so I don't think they're going to go and try to address defensive tackle in free agency, but I still would keep my eyes peeled on linebacker. Maybe Kyle Van Noy. We know he was with the New England Patriots before. Miles Jack would be an interesting prospect as well. And along with Anthony Barr with the Minnesota Vikings, there is a period of time where this, this dude was an absolute stud, but the Raiders may be wanting to give Luke Masterson a shot. The UDFA they signed last year, and maybe they're content with Divine Diablo and Amari Bernie as well, and also Robert Spillane, who they signed in free agency. And I don't see them getting a tackle because like we've stated before, they still grabbed Justin Heron last year from the New England Patriots, and he was on injured reserve last year. Maybe they have more depth there than we realize, including Brandon Parker, who was on injured reserve last year, and also uh, Thayer Mumford, who was drafted in the seventh round from the Ohio State Buckeyes last year and did quite well. A 71 pass blocking grade off of having, you know, over 300 snaps. That, that, that's pretty productive. But as we look at this team, as we look at this roster, linebacker does still come off as an obvious need, but I think the team has more confidence in Masterson, like we said. Corner is a need. I think PFF does not exactly know the Raiders' depth chart. Obviously, Nate Hobbs should be out here, but they're going according to grades. And then we got to see safety. How, how much faith does the team still have in Trayvon Merrick? Two years left on this contract, including this one. Marcus Epps, we know he was recently signed, so there's obviously going to be uh, investment investment in him and you're obviously going to have him play the lion's share of snaps at the safety position but I think secondary is still a question mark but the staff is probably higher on some guys than we realize along with linebacker and defensive tackles since we elected to go at Tyree Wilson at edge not entirely addressed there but keep in mind the Raiders did re-sign Jerry Tillery to a two-year contract last year and they had a uh, Nichols signed to a two-year contract last offseason so they probably believe in both of these guys still and then drafted some depth around them mainly Byron Young and Matthew Butler 
Butler and Neil Farrell Jr. last year. On the offensive side of the football, right guard is still an issue. Maybe some of the new UDFAs can address this right guard issue. I think there's a lot of depth at tackle than we realize. Like we mentioned earlier, Parker and Heron. Receiver is set, is stacked. Almost too many players available at receiver. Question remains, it's going to happen with Hunter Renfro. The only way the Raiders move on from him without eating too much dead money this year is if they do it after June 1st. You would eat $5 million this year, and I believe the other $6 million next year. Jacobs, uh, hopefully he's happy. Hopefully the Raiders, you negotiate a long-term contract with this guy. They have until the first few weeks of July to do so. And we'll see if he, you know, is cool with reporting to some of the mandatory meetings and training camp. Once he starts not reporting to the mandatory stuff, I think that's when we have to start freaking out about the potential of Jacobs no longer being part of this team. Tight end, tons of depth there. You got Austin Hooper, the veteran, the 28-year-old who already knows Jimmy G. And then you have, obviously, Michael Mayer out of Notre Dame, the stud, the, the sleeper draft pick the Raiders have. And if Justin Heron does not work out and neither does Brandon Parker, don't be surprised if the Raiders hit up Isaiah Wynn, former New England Patriot tackle. I see that as a possibility. If, you know, the Raiders really wanted to just get the ratings up and make us freaking have a huge flip out time, they would probably go out there, sign Taylor Luan, grab Carson Wentz as a backup, and then Julio Jones, let him see if he can, you know, restore his career opposite of Devontae. But obviously, none of that is going to happen. That would be freaking awesome and would be super lit. But who knows, to, you know, Marcus Peters, Casey Hayward, uh, Shaquille Griffin, Rocky scene like we mentioned in Kyle Van Noy, I still say keep an eye out on those guys. If the Raiders feel like they're not confident in some of the corners they brought in, but they're probably going to see if they can utilize Bennett, utilize Duke Shelley, or David Long Jr. Let me know in the comments below what position do you think the Raiders need to target desperately in free agency still? You know, even after the draft, even after all, all these UDFA signings, where do they need to go? Quarterback, some people still think that's an issue, but clearly they're confident in Jimmy G staying healthy, and if not, Aiden O'Connor Connell seems like a sleeper quarterback who could maybe be as productive as somebody like a, like a Jimmy G if he does have more time in the system. So we'll see what happens there. Check out some of these other videos on the Raiders that you may have missed on my channel. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.